and we're recording. Hey there YouTube, my name's Kirby as a boss. Welcome to my room, welcome to my channel, and today I want to talk about habits. You know, habits, patterns, disciplines that we have in our life. Now in the world that we're living in right now, where it seems like absolute and utter chaos, many of us have probably been thrown out of our normal routine of things, and because of that we've been able to analyze our life, see what we really prioritize, maybe where we've been giving our attention to, what it is that we love to do, maybe things that we identify in our life that aren't good. And in this time, I've been able to reflect on different patterns in my life, different habits in my life, different mentalities in my life. And I've been able to identify a lot of unhealthy things with that. As I was analyzing my habits, my disciplines, God really spoke to me and he showed me a lot. And I just want to share the verses that he spoke to me and hopefully it's an encouragement to you. A question that I often get asked is how I have such a consistent relationship with the Lord. And honestly, it all dwindles down to discipline. And I know that's kind of one of those words where we hear discipline and we're like, Ugh. There, there's so much benefit to disciplines because disciplines develop into desires, whether it's a good discipline or a bad discipline. And the beautiful thing about being in the word and being biblically literate and knowing what scripture says to be true and having an active relationship with the Lord, that enables us to discern how to make good decisions. And from those decisions, we instill disciplines. That's church lingo we hear all the time, spiritual disciplines, but it's a very real thing. Abiding by his commands, not simply because we were made to be rule followers, but as Jesus says in John 14, 15, if you love me, you will keep my commands. Now, I will love you if and only if you keep my commands, because let's be honest, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, God loves us unconditionally. We show our love for him when we keep his commands. We instill habits that he says are good habits. We develop disciplines that he desires for us to have. We walk in the way and the truth and the life and and we don't submit to the things of this world because in this relationship that we have with the Lord he is abiding by the covenant that he has established us on the other hand mm. <laughs> we tend to fall on the disobedient side of the spectrum all right and if we truly love the Lord with all our heart with all our soul with all our might just as the Shema prayer says in Deuteronomy then we are going to draw into a deeper intimacy with him we are going to be able to embrace a new love of love with him and I know that all of us deep down whatever it is that you are pursuing and looking for and searching for in this life it's identity and it's love and those are found in the Lord those are established in him and they're purposeful when founded in him but going back to what I wanted to state at the beginning of this video we need to become a people again of discipline and I know it's hard I know it's hard to instill those habits or stick to a routine or begin refusing things that you once said yes to and begin taking up things that you once didn't necessarily prioritize. I get it. It's hard, but it's through instilling those disciplines that they develop into desires. And that is a healthy desire to have one that is in correlation to what God's commands are and what his will and way is for your life. I want to share some scripture with you. This is Colossians chapter three, verses five, seven, and 10. So put to death the sinful earthly things lurking within you have nothing to do with sexual immorality, impurity, lust, and evil desires. Don't be greedy, for a greedy person is an idolater, worshiping the things of this world. You used to do these things when your life was still part of this world. Put on your new nature and be renewed as you learn to know your creator and become like him. And another verse that confirms exactly what this is saying is Ephesians chapter 4 verses 21 through 24. Since you have heard about Jesus and have learned the truth that comes from him, throw off your old sinful nature and your former way of life, which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature, created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. We are called to throw off the old self and put on the new self. That is a discipline that we need to take up daily. And that's why I believe it's so important that we begin our day in the word with the Lord. So if our disciplines, our habits are outside of the will and the word and the way of God, you know what's going to be born out of that? Romans 6, 21 through 22. But what fruit were you getting at that time from the things of which you are now ashamed. 
for the end of those things is death. But now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the fruit you get leads to sanctification and its end, eternal life. If you are not walking in the will of God, if you are not instilling disciplines and healthy habits and abiding and submitting to his commands, it breeds shame. And not only that, it leads us to feeling like death because it leads to death. Instead, we are called to walk in the ways of Christ. We are called to throw off the old ways, to abandon those old habits that are not leading us to life, and instead put on the new self that has been redeemed in Christ and walk in that way daily. It's not gonna be easy, especially at first. That's why it has to be a discipline, something that you're on top of, whether you like it or not, because it will develop into a desire. And it is a desire worth having because it's a desire that leads to life. It leads us to holiness, it leads us to righteousness, it leads us to look more like Him. And we were made in His image. So don't you think that as we draw near to Him and abide in His ways that we are going to feel fulfilled, purposeful, loved and at peace. So use this time, use your quarantine, use your self-isolation time as a period to ask God and invite the Holy Spirit to convict you of the areas that you have unhealthy habits or non-spiritual disciplines. And instead, take up the ways of Christ. I encourage you to do some digging in your Bible. How are we called to live as believers? Write them down in a list and instill those principles in your life because it is through obeying His commands and it is through pursuing a personal relationship with Him that we will experience the fullness of life. And that's on God. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe for videos every other Sunday. That's kind of how we've been doing things. And also subscribe to my podcast. I have an amazing one coming out this Wednesday. Get ready. Link down below. Also follow me on all my other social media. I got TikTok. I got Instagram. I got Twitter. It's all Kirby is a boss. So I hope I see you over there. But with all that being said, remember to keep on keeping on and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Stay stellar. Wow.